you before this? Yes. What happened to your friend? Coming? Not coming? It's, this is quite a lot to, to cover and um, most many questions, morphology come from here as well. Okay, so let's get this going. So um, this would be the second last because the other one should be the morphology. So next week, uh, uh, Prof. Uma will take over the class, okay? So this is my, my last week with you. Although we have one um, uh, replacement class next Thursday, all right? So let's see what this flower story about. Okay, go on. So we're going to see um, this two more with me, and then we go to the seat. Seat, I don't have to, to do it because Prof. Uma, she's a seat technologist, so better uh, to, to give um, to her because that that is um, her thing, right? Okay, so let's uh, move on. Um, all right, so these are the things. And I think to some degree, this has been covered during your um, drawing um, lab session, right? But we'll, we'll go through one more time. I'm not to worry. Okay, next, all right. <coughs> Okay, so a number of um, basic terminologies. Again, please do not get confused with, with each of these. So flowers, referring to the organs, okay? Regardless of the plant species, as long as it is plant, the reproductive organ, we're not talking about the male or female part just yet, okay? We're just talking about the reproductive part the part that will give rise to the other organ, namely fruit, we call it flower, okay? However, some plants do not have flowers. What do you call it? Plants, plants that do not have flowers. Gymnosperm, okay. For example? Okay, pine, fern, and so on, okay? All right, so genosium, this is referring to the female reproductive part organs, okay? So the components in genosium in, include stigma, style, ovary, and ovule, okay? However, you're going to see another um, terminology associated with female reproduction. It's called, this is just for the female, okay? Carpal or pistil. Okay. So for carpal and pistil, it doesn't include any appendages. It's just purely the stigma style ovary. You know, sometimes the flower can have the flower base, the platform. We call it receptacle. Or sometimes it can have the hypentheum, the cup shape covering the ovary. Okay, when, when you exclude all these extra structures, just purely the female reproduction, stigma, style, and ovary, we call it carpal or pistil. Okay, and then we have the androsium. So if this is for the female, for the male, we call it what? Stamen. Okay, I know there are many words kind of confusing but they are actually either talking about it generally or more specific okay when you use the words such as genosium and androsium that's very general female male but when you use words like this they are actually referring to just the reproductive part not a, not anything else okay right go next I think you all should be very familiar with this structure by now, all right? Okay, so uh, regular or typical representation of a flower part, all right? So you have um, the carpal or the pistil right in the middle here. 
Yeah, and then you have your stamen, which is anther plus filament. Okay, anther plus filament. Filament is the structure that bears the anther. Okay, this guy here, the small tube here. This is the filament. The pollens, you know, remember the pollens that you, you saw um, last week? The yellow pollen, the white pollen, you know, they come from the anther. Okay, and then you have the female structure comprising the style and also the stigma and also the ovary and ovule. Okay, so bear in mind this structure particularly the female structure, is the one that's going to give rise to the fruit that you're going to get, okay? So ovary will give rise to the fruit structure, while ovule will give rise to the seeds. So what happened to the other parts? They can either wither away or they're just fused, okay? To become something else, just like a remnant of the organ. And then you have this structure, very showy, the petal, the tepal, right? And also the stalk of the, the flower, okay? So pay attention again for the singular form and also the plural form of the floral part. For example, like the petal here, when it's in the form of collective structure, we call it corolla, okay? And the same things goes to the sepal and also the petal. Okay, so tepal. What color is it? Is it is is it colorful? Or is it white or is it green? So tepal is actually when you cannot distinguish, cannot differentiate between the petal and sepal, okay? And this is more relevant for um, flower from the ancient family, okay? Uh, I think you're going to um, show let, see later um, this plant, magnolia. I think we have uh, somewhere the picture uh, in the in the in the next slides. All right, okay, go on. Right. <clears throat> so the non. It's not reprodu not reproductive. The structure is not directly involved in the reproduction, but rather the support structure for the flower. So we have the peduncle, which is the stalk for the inflorescence flowers in bunch, or the pedicels, the stalk for the individual flowers. So this is peduncle, the support structure for all of these flowers, and then for the individual flowers or florets, the individual stalk, sangkai, we call it pedicels, okay? And then we have receptacle. So re receptacle is the, the swollen base of the flower, okay? Sometimes it's visible, sometimes it is not um, visible. Okay, you know apple, apple fruit? Okay, that is actually not the, the ovary. I said just now ovary is the one that gives rise to the fruit, right? But it's not for the apple. Apple is actually um, the swollen receptacle and hypentium. Receptacle and hypentium. Hypentium. Okay. Um, let's let's draw this like this. Okay. All right. So at the base here, this is receptacle. Receptacle. And then sometimes you have structure at the back. Okay, so this structure at the back, 
ไฮเปิลเจมไฮเปิลไม่กลับมาไฮเปิลเจมโอ้ฟลอเรลคัพเอ๊ะโอซีเดอร์เดอร์เอ็กซัมเปิลเลยจ้ะเจ๊ just want to uh, get the the terminology correct เอ๊ะก่อนอย่า what flower is this okay okay so pedicel and pedangle so the, as long as you know the structure and whether it it's all about whether it's singular or plural now okay so that um, the botanists they need they need to differentiate this okay because like orchid you don't have to worry because nobody go to the supermarket to buy orchid fruit but in other crop important species the flowers will give rise to the fruit and determine the the structure of the fruit and of course you want the biggest fruit the good quality fruit and that start with flower okay so it's part of the sop in the breeding program people want something to happen to the fruit they need to work on the flower first right okay go on right okay uh so we got this accessory organs like the petal so the shape of the petal you can use the chart for leaf shape it's the same it's kind of evolution actually the um the plant has undergone evolution so the leaf now has become part of the floral structure okay so If you still remember the leaf morphology, leaf shape chart, what what shape is this? Ah, baik kau tahu sebelum dia masuk exam, right? Okay, alright, go on. Alright, okay. What about that? You you have seen leaf like that, right? Like that, right? This shape, this shape. Okay, please know how to describe it. Okay, at least it's not a separate chart. You're using the existing chart for the leaf shape, right? Okay. Remember from your um, lab last week. What do you call this flower? Nee, this individual thing. What do you call it? This is the time you should be opening your your drawing so that you can label properly. What do you call it? Remember, some flower got two florets, two floral fl flowers type. Ray floret. Okay, so this is on the edge. Okay, um, right. Um, open. The so that would be this thing, the second slide. You you can refer to to your the Skype. Okay, I've sent it to the Skype as well. So this is the ray flower and the disc flower. Okay, so they are present in the same capitulum. What is capitulum? It's a type of inflorescence. Remember, okay, your flower have two sessions. Lab one, lab two for the flower. The first uh, flower session, you you were dealing with solitary flower, bunga tunggal, one by one. But last week you were dealing with inflorescence, flower in bunch. Okay, so sunflower. The small flowers of ray flowers and disc flowers, they come together in the form of capitulum. That is the form. Capitulum means head, right? All right. Okay. Okay. Go back to the slide. All right. Next. All right. So we have um, many variation for the color. Okay. Black tulip and Campanula rotundifolia. Right. Hmm. What color is that? What color is the tulip? 
Is is that really black? So, um, in nature, as at least in, in plant kingdom, there is no specific pigment to produce black coloration. The black that you see now is the color of pigments. I think you know this, the color in, inside the uh, sweet potato. So, in Tasani, what, what, what color? Purple. Is that purple? So, it can be purple, red, violet, and so on. Because the concentration is very high. It is so high to the point, when you look at it, it looks super dark. How to prove this? Mm. You know, Raibina? You go to the supermarket, Rabina in bottles, right? Uh -huh. Look at the Rabina bottles. Is that the color of Rabina drinks? No. It looks super black, right? Uh -huh. But take a spoon of Rabina and then dilute it in the glass of water. It, it's it's what color now? It's purple. <laughs> so, kind of like similar structure. So, Rabina in the bottle on the supermarket shelf, that's super concentrated. Do you drink it straight away? No. Well, my friends do. <laughs> you can, but if you don't die, join grandma soon. So you dilute it. So you dilute it, then you, this will reappear. Okay? Right? And blue also is very seldom in plant kingdom. All right? Um, huh, then then some, some, somehow people, uh, some student asked me, is it true? There's no black? What about Chinchao? You know Chinchao? You know Chinchao? Yeah. Um, grass, grass jelly. Lengkong. What color is that? Yeah. That's actually not due to the plant pigment. That's actually due to the chemical reaction. That's different, okay? To, to, to make Chinchao, you use the chinchow plant. Chinchow, chin, chinchow plant is not black. Okay. You, um, there's a chemical reaction there. They put this thing, um, ash water. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Go on. Ooh. What's up? Saba. Um, I know this. This 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 is like uh, one of the few plants I tried to chase uh, when when I first went to a uh, four season country. This is called bluebells. Bluebells. Very short. It's kind of like sakura. Sakura, you know, very short period of time. Bluebell also short period of time. It's um, I think the first two weeks in May for northern hemisphere. Okay. Um, this whole area, uh, we call it, you, you don't call it garden, bluebell garden. We call it, there is a word for that. Uh, let me call, oh. Bukan computer Dell tu. Dell, uh, look it up lah. Tengok maksud dia apa. Flower Dell. It's like a, this kind of flower landscape setting. Okay, you know, there, 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 are, there are many words actually being used by the manufacturer, commercial producer, originate from botany, plant, plant story, like the Corolla, Toyota, use it, Dell, that's another one. Visa, what Visa? Oh, you were not born yet, dah lah, Windows Vista. Oh, you didn't. Oh, not not your time. Okay, not your time. Not your time. Not your time. It was it was in the past. It was in the past. All right, all right. Go on, go on. Lavender, lavendula. Okay. Um, go on. Yeah. 
So lavender got flowers. Bluebells do not have flowers. I uh, no, does not have flowers. Fragrance. Sorry, fragrance. Go on. And we got tulips. I think I know the name of this tulip. Um, go go to that uh, Facebook. I'll give you the name for it. Uh, just, uh open open the this in the tab. Um. Copy that link because you don't want to lose it. Copy that link. Open it in the tab. Yeah, go to that original tab. Go back. Go back. Go to the album. You know, the the long album. Should be Lily S. C. Ah, that flower. Ah, broken. Too bad. Mm. But um, that was the flower. That's a um, cover page for that. This flower. Yes. Okay, not to worry. Um, go back to the slide. Yeah. Do we have to to lip simulation? Do you have, do you have to lip simulation? People try to do it, but it's very expensive. Because you need to give cool treatment to it, otherwise it's not going to flower. Okay. All right. Go on. Go on. Where is it? Where is this? The, the 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 previous slide and this slide is actually a place actually where is it new zealand, new zealand. <laughs> <laughs> um go internet spell this i i might i might spell it wrong this is in in, in netherlands holland yes that kick kick off yeah, this. Kukunov. Kukunov. Yeah. It's about... Uh, open the image. Let people see how beautiful this place is. Oh. Yeah. I got to spend one week here. <laughs> so, um, the season starts from end of March until about early May. Okay, but it's not like one way all blooms because there, there are like many types of tulips variety. Some are early blooming, some are all um, late blooming. Yeah, so this is quite easy to get from. Look at that flower. Yeah, that's quite quite popular actually, but I forgot the name. If I remember, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. All right, okay, all right, come back to reality. Okay, next. Okay, we've got the rose, pink rhododendron. Rhododendron, we have the plant in Malaysia, somewhere in high altitude in, in, in Sabah. But um, it's the flower is not very showy like this. Rhodo, rhododendron. Rhodo means rose-like. Dendron means tree. Rose-like tree. Uh, next, yeah. Or oh, the 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 name of it. Um, people like to call it azalea. Azalea flower. Right. So, yeah. I don't think this is rhododendron. This is azalea actually. Rhododendron is rather big. All right. Okay. Go on. Next. Okay. Then you got a uh, flower form of daffodil. You see so many colors. Okay. Plant just just know how to do things, okay, and they have don't have to buy artificial color. They just make their own colors. All right, and then you got daffodil. Hmm, daffodil. I know that I know there's a story about this. Story that can somehow benefit you. Um, you know daffodil. No. You know Shrek. Shrek, Shrek, that's all you got. Not your time. Can I put your cash? You show me pointing to your friend. <laughs> In Shrek number, I don't remember. Let's see. Shrek number one, two, three. The one that he's going out to chase Prince Arthur to drag him to become the king of the country. 
yeah towards the end of the the shrek like maybe 10 minutes left um the the pirate captain you know there, there's a villain orang jahat yeah so the pirate captain have this dialogue i would love to grow daffodils <laughs> you know what i th th this is my problem i thought below you know, when people watch movie they remember all dialogue oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So daffodil, the Latin name for daffodil is narcissus. Has the word narcissistic. Is it a bad thing? So narcissus actually referring to the narcotic effect of a daffodil. Some daffodil um, variety or, or genus, when you smell the flower or have any part eaten, it can have the narcotic effect. Do you know narcotic effect? Unit dadah dan anti narcotic negara. Narcotic is actually from the Latin word nar na narco. It means numb. Numb. Okay. I'm not. I don't want to talk about the the narcotic drugs. I want to tell you uh, one story. This thing actually, you know, Alzheimer disease. Yes. Okay. Um. Many scientists say that it, that is untreatable until now. Okay. However, I think recently scientists have found, and then they're turning it into product now. Um, there is a compound in this flower, daffodil. It's called um, galamantin. So they grow these flowers in high altitude. Then they extract this compound to come out, then they crystallize this compound and then give to the Alzheimer patient. That will reduce the Alzheimer onset and also deal with the problem. It is so good, even the Alzheimer, they start from degrading, can increase the memory. So potentially, remember you learned before, Jinko Buloba is to increase memory? This is another one. Yes, gal Galamantin. This thing. However, I don't think they have, they are testing it in the regular population. They are just working this with the Alzheimer patient. You know, dementia, nyanyo, and so on. Yeah. So, hopefully, even though when you are 60, 70, by consuming this, it can give you a chance to learn. You know, late life learning because lifelong learning is a, a thing, right? But don't eat straight away because you're going to get this. <laughs> right, and then magnolia. Yeah, see magnolia. All of this petal, petal. Why? Because magnolia is, I think, top five the oldest flowering plant. It's ancient. It's ancient. It's so ancient, it hasn't got the time to evolve to differentiate between the sepal and also the petal. So it is. Still, tepal. Tepal. How old is it? Based on the fossil record, they found it about 100 million years old. So 100 million years ago, this thing was already around. And this day, you still found it. Yes. Yeah, so it's old. Right? Okay, go on. Yes, this is the, the tree. Um, magnolia, actually, um, it's, it's good because it's an indicator. In London... They, they grow this uh, magnolia in a number of places to see the air quality because magnolia will not grow in an air polluted place. It's ancient plant, okay? It doesn't know what is this carbon monoxide from exhaust. Doesn't know, right? So if the place is full of magnolia trees, you know the air is good for you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 the, the, the place where I live when I was in England, quite a, a number of these uh, plants. Okay, no wonder people are very decent there. But to Balik Malaysia, why people like this? <sighs> asap, 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 asap. Right, go on. Yeah, Kananga, um, Yelang Yelang. Okay, I go on. Banyak betul lah, like si Nota Fidaus ni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then multicolor. 
Uh, this is just the talk about the color, all right? So in one flower, um, this is actually highly hybridized. Pokok, uh, kacuk, kawin. In nature, orchids come from nature as well. Usually they're kind of like one or two flowers, colors only. When you start to get all this tiger pattern and so on, you know that has been hybridized. Kacuk, all right? Okay, all right. Pansy, we don't have this. Um, I think that's a common name for this. Ghost, ghost flower? Because it's kind of like ghost. Yeah. All right. Right now. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Ah, you drew this, but you drew the yellow color. The, so, what is the current family? The new family. This is the old family. Puasi, ah, puasi, siapa ajang kau? Baru buat tak sampai seminggu tu this. Apa family ni? What family is this? This leguminous is the old name. What is the new name? What? Okay, Fabasi, okay. Fabasi. So you have the standard or banner. You know banner? Not banner your college event too. Okay, happy debate inter college thing. No. Um, this is the banner that people carry around du during um war. My 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 drawing is so bad. So there is a guy holding this. Ah, I forgot the name. Panji. That's Emily. Okay. okay. And then you got the wings and also the keel. Okay. Keel is the dada bunga. Right. Okay. Go on. Okay. This is a cross section of it. Uh, so you can look from the side of it. Okay. So then only you can see the stamens. If you look under microscope, the stamens for this um, uh, plant is it comes in two bunch. Uh, it's either eight plus one or nine plus one. Eight or nine in one bundle. And then one, three, one bundle. There is a word for this actually. I think it should be in the notes, hopefully. Should be something like die adult first. Adult first. That's all right, that's all right. We'll, we'll see in a bit. Okay, go on. Okay. Um, this is actually not really the flower of the um, rice. Okay, the flower of rice is actually inside of it. This is uh, like the, this is actually the fruit already. I don't know why this is included, but at least it's good to know. Okay, so the original flower part is actually this thing, the gloom. Yeah, yeah, all right. So this is actually the fruit of rice, okay. The flower is actually, you need to open this. Sorry, I forgot to find the, the picture. There's, there is a good picture actually, all right. Okay, I'll go on. The part of the flower, okay. Gloom, palea, lemma. You're going to learn this anyway during the, the fruit part. Um, the popular question for this is, when you are given a rice seed like this, which one glue, which one is, uh, no, no, sorry, which is pelea, pelea, palia and lemma? Which one? How do, how do you know? The, the easy way I remember it is this is lemma because this this here look like a boat and the boat go to save orang yang lemas. So the top one is actually lemma. So the top one automatically jadi pele. Yay. Pele. Yeah. Go, go one slide before. See? The one um, 
at the bottom looks like a boat. Right. And this is the lid. See? Lemma, like a boat. Boat go to the safe. Orang lemas. Alright, go on. Okay. Uh, okay, Flower. Did you draw orchids last week? Sepal, petal, sepal. Okay. Um, how do you differentiate between sepal and petal when it looks the same? It's the level. Okay. The, the layer closest to you, it is the petal. The layer at the back is the sepal. Okay. Because the flower come up like this. So, it has got layer. So, this is layer 1, layer 2, layer 3. Okay. The, the farthest at the back, closest to the stalk, this is your sepal. Okay. What else? Okay, lip. And then you have the lip or labellum. Um, not many plants have this structure. This is actually for, for uh, orchids and a number of plants that has its pollinator rather from a large insect group. So this is like the helipad. You know helipad? It's the landing platform for the insect. So you have your bees, hornet, wasp, whatever. And the bees need to make decision whether to go in or not. Okay? Hovering like that consumes lots of energy. So this flower is smart. It provides RNR. Okay. Stop here and then decide. <laughs> because the moment they stop here, they try to explore. There is a hole in here. The pollen is just here. But the pollen in a mess. We call it pollinia. I think I showed to, to one of the groups the, the pollinia is in a mess. Mess of pollen. Right? Okay. Uh, Go on. Is it the same? Better, better. See, look, all the, look the same. Okay, you got your peduncle. Ooh, this one. Janendram. Um, that's not the right spelling, I think. It should be Janendram. Um, Janendram is actually, I think this is the old name. The new name for this is Column. Column, um, pistil, plus stamen, fused together. So when they are fused together into a one structure or one organ, we call it gynandrium or column. Okay, because they have fused together. The male and female parts of the flower, they join together. All right, so this structure has its own name. Okay, call it column. All right, okay, next. Yeah, look at this. This we call it a sleeper orchid, Paphio pedalum. Look at the, um, the, what structure is this? The lip. It, now it looks like a swimming pool. Now the bees, not only that it can R and R, it can go to the pool. Can okay, taking a sweet time, bath first. Because if it goes back straight to the nest, it has to do lots of work and chores. So take a nap first in here. Like a cradle. We call it a flower cradle. Yeah. This um, puppy fadalum actually, uh, I think, yeah, our country got it. Yeah, quite, quite, quite a number. The sleep, sleepers. Okay. All right. Okay. Go on. Yay. Rafflesia. Um, hmm. Can I put it to this machine? This thing actually may be a bit in, in, inaccurate. It's not really, I do not know whether it's, um, because Rafflesia got many species as well. Rafflesia arnoldii, Rafflesia. Belluminaceae, so many, so many. Um, actually, Rafflesia um, is called saprophytic. Parasitic 
if it fits on living structure. For example, you have your head lice. You know head lice? Yeah, yeah, kutu. Sucking on your blood. Okay, are you living or dead? Okay, since it's feeding on the living thing, it's called parasitic. Okay, saprophytic, it fits on decayed material. Materials. Um, for example, like the leaf litters. Leaf litters. Uh, Pops, are you leaf litters? Mm. The, the, the daun kering lah lunyai, pijak-pijak. <laughs> you know, if you go to the forest, there's so many uh, dried leaf, right? Um, broken and decomposing. Yes, leaf litters. So that is, is it alive or dead? Yeah. Dead. So, Rafflesia like this kind of leaf litters and also bark. Yeah, bark. So, they grow on the bark, feeding on the dead structure. We call it saprophytic. Right? Okay. Have you seen this flower? Oh, it, the, it has smells. It smells like rendang dua minggu tak kat luar. Yeah. It smells like a rotten meat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you know why why the name is Rafflesia? It's named after the uh, British resident in Singapore, Stanford Raffles. Uh, Stanford Raffles. So they name after him Raffles, yeah. R Raffles in Asia. Raffles, yeah. Because during that time, Singapore is one of the straits um, state, Negeri Selat, kind of like Penang, big harbour, very busy, you know. So Stanford Raffles have a, such a huge influence, big authority, big power, okay? So it's a big thing. So big thing, a big flower go to you. Okay. Next. Oh, there's another guy here. Okay, okay, I can see what Fidos is doing here. Dia patut letak label sebenarnya. Raffles, yeah, is the largest solitary flower on earth. This plant, uh, cross flower, uh, the, the common name is tit uh, Titan Arum. This Titan plant is the largest inflorescence on earth. One is solitary flower, the largest solitary, bunga tunggal terbesar dalam dunia, the award goes to Rafflesia. The award for the largest inflorescence goes to Titan Arum. Titan Arum. Okay. So big. Um, have you seen this before? Um, the height of this inflorescence. So this is whole inflorescence and this is spadix. Spadix. And this is uh, space, you know, I, I showed you last week, right? Space. What is space in, in Malay? Seludang. Correct. Seludang. The height of this is, um, at, at least the one that I work with, it's about 1.9 meters. So it's taller than me. Lah. It's very tall. So where is the flower? The flower is actually this. Small, small flowers on the spadic axis. Very, very small flowers. Okay? And those are all um, female flowers. The male flowers are actually somewhere here. Okay? And that's the Latin <laughs> Amorphophilus tetanum. Do, do you want to hear indecent story? Yeah. Oh, like oh, always. <laughs> um, Amorphophilus, three words. Ash. 
false. A is without morpho shape. Phallus is <laughs> male genital. So combine it together. Don't ask why scientists name it that way. Okay, I think the botanist who named it maybe had a hard day. Yeah, yeah, about to be divorced. So yeah, that's the name. Yeah. Uh, titanium is just mean titan. It's big. All right. So it's a male genital without structure. The story the story said that it was named by by a female botanist. You know, female very emo. <laughs> and then last night got divorced. And pa bunga macam ni. Emo for flesh. <laughs> All right, okay. Jangan emo. Relax. All right, okay. Go on. Oh yeah, got the story. Kenapa aku cerita banyak sangat? Ah bacalah. <laughs> Masa ada reason apa si si Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I saw this study. Um, Want to hear something more interesting? Yeah. Other than indecent story? No, this is not indecent. Sangat. Is this, at least you know. Okay. To be a scientist, you need to have a good sense of humor. Even though you are trying to cover your emo uh, days. Um, so this is the largest one in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning that this is the largest floral structure. If you put Rafflesia next to Titan Arum side to side, Titan Arum looks so so small. This is like so big. Okay, so this is the largest floral structure on the entire planet. Um, the interesting thing is, the smallest flower structure on the whole planet also belong to the same family. Titan Arum belongs to the family of, yeah, RSC. And open the slide, the supplement slide. The smallest flower, the first one, also belongs to the family of RSC. It's called the uh, water meal. Water meal or dark wheat. The Latin is warfare. Warfare. So both warfare and amorphophilus, they belong to the same family of Arase. So small. You know how small it is? The flower, the diameter of the flower, 0 0.1 mm. 1 mm. Is that big? So it's one tenth of a millimeter. So small. And this is, of course, this is under microscope. And this is the flower. Very primitive. Okay. You need to enlarge it. Super, super enlarge it. Right. Okay. Uh, next slide. All right. Okay. All right. Floral symmetry. <clears throat> so when you go, um, there's only two, really. Um, zygomorphic and actinomorphic. So zygomorphic means the flowers can divide into two laterals, two sides, dua belah. Zygo, from the word zygote. You know zygote, when it divides, so it got two equal half, right? Yeah, so it's pretty much like that. However, you cannot necessarily can to divide the top part and the bottom part. It's only one plane. Satu sata saja dia boleh bahagi. Kiri dan kanan. Atas bawah, tak dapat. What flower is this? Okay, okay, so the symmetry, we call it zygomorphic. The other one is, next, oh, contoh, um, the Archie's Pintoy, the bin, okay. Okay, next, the other one is actinomorphic. Actino, I do not know whether I'm, I'm teaching botany ke, I'm, I'm teaching Latin. Actino, it means ray or beam. Benda, real beam. Sinaran. Like the star, star, you know, star far, far away, kind of radiating the beam, right? 
yeah in latin we call it actino <coughs> see it's radiating from common point in the middle going in all direction whatever direction you go you can still divide it equally into half vertically horizontally all good oh diagonally apa diagonal satu plane diagonal what you mean melintang melintang um, ni horizontal mencondong menyerong ah iyalah boleh lah serong diagonal you know right diagonal so you have your square ni ah uh, tu diagonal diagonally I want to I want to tell a story a uh, film Harry Potter nanti kau tak tahu pula episod mana kan uh, oh itu tahu pula uh, what, what what's the story about Harry Potter tried to travel to the diagonally you using the using what abu tiba abu fluk powder Fluke powder. Instead of saying Diagon Alley, Diagon Alley, he said what? Diagonally. Ha, po, ha, pergi kedai orang. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Next. Petunia. That's a good example. Petunia, yeah. We have lots of petunia. Uh, Putrajaya banyak ada petunia. They kind of hang it dekat um, uh, lamp post. Yang tiang lampu Putrajaya, banyak orang gantung pokok petunia. Okay, go on. Petal or sepal division? Okay. Alright. So, you know the sepal and petal, they can um, exist distinctly like this. You see? Not touching, right? Or they can actually to some degree touching like this. Or they kind of fuse together. Okay, so when it says polysepalous, this is poly, distinct, individual, one by one. When it says gamosepalous, it has been fused to some degree like this too. Gamet, gamet is the fusion of male and female, right? To give rise to the zygote, right? Right, right. So how do you describe your flower formation now is by combining the name of the symmetry and also the division of um, the division of the sepal or petal okay okay go next let's see some example actinomorphic polypetalous meaning that the flower have the star shape the petals are not fused star shaped flowers with individual petals right Actinomorphic star shaped flowers with fused petal. And also the zygomorphic is the equal halved flower with fused petal. Zygomorphic gametophallus, equal half flower with fused petal. All right, okay, let's see some example. Hopefully, other. Yeah. Act actinomorphic and Polypetalous. All right. So it's actinomorphic, meaning that you can cut it in any direction. It's the same. Polypetalous. One by one. Just like this. One by one. And this form has got a special name for it. It's called cruciform. This cruciform is from the um, Crucifixion. Crucifixion. You know crucifixion? Crucifix. You know crucifix? Eh. Salib. Salib, salib, salib. Uh, Jesus tu. The name, in English we call it cruciform. Uh, kan bentuk Jesus, bentuk Jesus pak. Bentuk salib tu. Ha, ha. Tiba, oh, tu uh, tukar agama, benda, belajar je. <laughs> right? 
divided into sections arranged like a cross. Right, okay. Tak, tak apa, ada lagi cerita Jesus lagi sekejap lagi. Don't worry. There are so many stories about Jesus. Go on. Alright. Ooh, this. I think scientists yang describe benda ni maybe died halfway kot. Sebab <laughs> he didn't he didn't use any um, Latin name to to describe the shape. Like cruciform? Crucific, crucific, crucifixion, right? Cariophyllaceous is actually the name of a family. Cariophyllaceae. It's the family of carnation, bunga teluki. Yeah. So, apa ah, bunga teluki ni? Dianthus. Dia ada dua tau. Um, I'll just wrap this, okay? Got two flower. Teluki. Telukis. This is Dianthus. This guy. Teluki is carnation. That's why it's, it's not easy to use common name. People get confused so easily. Telukis, telukis. Tertumpah? <laughs> right. So, whenever the petals have the shape from the family of carnation or cariophyllase, we call it cariophyllaceous um, corolla. Okay? Just like this. Dia ada um, ni, ni, benda ni. Ni, jari tu, that's a word for that. Fringes. Fringes. Maybe tak ada kot dalam nota tu. Tak apalah, pergi tu je. Fringes. That's a word for that. Mer, mer, Merambu-rambai. Is that a word? No. So, aku je lah yang merepek tu. <laughs> ni lah benda-benda ni, hujung-hujung ni. Ni, ni macam apa, 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 kenapa? Kau macam kau beli langsi kan? Adalah benda. Tak boleh ke langsi tu straight je? Kan? Nak juga ada eko-eko, kaki-kaki. But you know. Okay, go on. Rosaceous, okay. The petals look like the family of rose. Pretty much like this. Still polypetalous. You see the petals, they are not fused. Satu kelopak, satu kelopak. You know, yeah. uh, rose, rose petals? Yeah. Do they come in one petal or a combination of many petals come together? Yeah. One petal. Okay. And prune plum. This is ume. See, ume? It hasn't got the notch. If, ha if, if it has got a notch, it becomes? You got what? Berapa kali dah repeat cerita ni? Satu macam ni, petal. Satu lagi, petal macam ni. So, which one is Umay? This is what? This is Umay. This is? Sakura. Yo. Nak, nak tahu bukti? Uh, go. Uh, image. Google image. Search 100 yen coin. Image, image. Ah, uh, kau ni. Kau lihat ni. Ah, ni lah benda ni sakura. Seratus yen, duit scoop, duit scoop pang mak, duit seratus yen tu is actually the true sakura. Okay, banyak banyak pula cerita sakura ni kan? Apa lah? Uh, okay, ah, uh, go on. Okay, go on. Macam, <laughs> how do I know? I I think ada duit sakura somewhere ni in my bag. Duit sakura, duit 100 yen. Okay, actino, actinomorphic, gamopetalous. Um, actinomorphic means that dia boleh radiate kan? Dia boleh radiate the flower but the petals kind of fused. Kalau dia fused in the form of loting, in the form of bell, we call it Campanulate. Macam ni, bunga-bunga ni. Tengok flower dia. Macam ni ke, macam ni ke, macam ni? Macam ni. Yeah. So, they kind of like, 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 like a bell. Okay. Like a bell. Okay. Campanulate. Okay. Uh, 
for example, Lily of the Valley, Bluebells. I remember the Bluebells just now? Yeah. Told you? So, the Bluebells that you saw just now from the far. If you go close, uh, this is Bluebells. And Foxglove. Just now, if Daffodil can be turned into the brain drugs, the Galamantine. Mana itah? Galamantine. Ah, hilang dah. Ah, ni? Galamantine. Um, Foxglove, people turn it into drugs as well to treat heart condition. It's called um, DG toxin. In hospital, people use this, okay, for the heart patients. Anybody? Heart attack? No. Uh, uh, wait three decades. <laughs> Then, then, then you, you, you'll have to use things from, from this plant. This day, people don't go to extract the DG toxin from the plants. can be synthetic, chemically manufactured, right? Okay, next. Lily of the Valley. Bluebells. Foxglove. And Bunga Bijan. Okay. Sesame indicum, right? Sesame lah, sesame the one that's been good. Bukan sesame street. Okay, all right. Next. Yeah, all right. So just now, campanulate in the form of bell. But if the bells becomes longer, like this, kalau macam ni, kan nampak the, the expansion of the Petals is uneven, right? Because it's uneven, that's why it has got the bulge, the kembung. But if the expansion is even, this side is even, this side is even, it becomes straight. Collectively, gamopetalus there will be in the form of tubular. So that's the difference. So, campanulate. Bulging, tubular, straight saja, sama saja, dulu belah ni. Yeah, dia tak kembung, dia tak kembung sangat, very minimum. Ha, remember this. You should be able to tell me what flower is this now. Sunflower. I know lah, sunflower. Which flower? Which floret? Ah, uh, this. Okay. So uh, I've given it in the sky. So we'll take the 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 picture of it. So the disc flower. The one that turned into kuachi, ah, ni lah benda Tubular flower. See? Equals. Sama je. That's not like a bell. Rulia. Rulia radicans. Okay, we have this plant. Don't mind not comment. Okay, next. Um, kind, kind, kind of like um, gang gang uh, tulip juga. Okay, next. Yeah. So, dia tak swell, dia tak bengkak. Not in this form. Okay. Right. Next. So, tubular. Funnel shape. Funnel is... Apa main? Cerobong. Cero, cerohong. Cer, cerombong. Something, something C. Chorong, 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 yes, chorong, chor, chorong, chorong, funnel. I, I keep. Uh, is that correct? Chorong, 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 chorong. Okay, bentuk chorong, funnel shape. So the example is, ah, uh, you should know this. Bre. Shape potato, morning glory pun macam tu juga. Bogus seri pagi. This shape as well, right? And angel's trumpet. Okay. Alright. Um, next. I got. Oh, that boy. Alright. Okay. Uh, we'll continue. Um, eh, buka lah. So I just remember this chorobo, chor, choro is actually the shape of this gramophone. Uh, gramophone in Malay, what is it? 
Pemain piring hitam. Ah, you know if you watch cerita piramid dulu dulu tu, kan ada benda ni. Uh, have you used this? <laughs> if you have this, you are probably a millionaire. This <laughs> is an anti lah. So the shape of the the funnel shape is also the shape of this gramophone. Okay, pemain cerop, pemain corong lah, pemain ah uh, black disc. <laughs> Alright, okay, go on slide. Okay, Datura, Angel Transpad. Uh, is this is this um, Morning Glory or Kanko? Morning Glory or Kanko? I just want to say, who says Kanko? Two. Dua je. Who says Morning Glory? Morning Glory. How do you know? Why? Yeah. The shape. You should know from the shape of the, the knee. If, if it's, if it's kangkong, the shape of the leaf is like this. Okay. Okay. So the leaf is called sagitate. Um, arrowhead Panah buso Bentuk panah buso Buso panah Alright Okay next Rotate or wheel Bentuk roda So this is uh, Okay this is your your sample as well The Izora So it looks like a wheel Okay And also the Jasmine Okay What about the floral symmetry? Is it zygomorphic or actinomorphic? Actino or zygo? Actino, why? Yeah, like a star. You can divide it in, in, in any planes. It will uh, divide into equal half. All right. Okay, next. Zygomorphic and polypetalous, right? Okay, the, the peanut and also the your sample the other day, the oranges, oranges pintoi. Okay, sweet pea. Pisum sativum and also arches hypogea. Hypo means bawah, under. Gia mean from the word geo. So, combine together. Geo. Oh, tanah. Geo lah, geo ni kan tanah. Land. Anah. Geography. Geography. Do you find the story of Pluto in geography lesson? Uh, because geography deal with the land. Right? Okay. Go on. Zygomorphic and gamopetalous. Okay. So the petals kind of fuse. Okay. This, you have these samples on the other day. Not this plant. What? This plant. Ada tak? Ah, cat whiskers. Misai lembu, misai kucing. Lembu dan misai ya. Did you bring your your drawing? Ah, pasu pasu label salah, label salah. The more wrong you get it, semakin sikit lah makang kau. Jatuh, 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 jatuh. Right. So this is how you describe your flower. Sorry to, I said, bring your drawing so that you can describe properly now. Right. Zygomorphic, gamma petalus. Next. Okay. Personate or mask. Um, it just means the flower has two lips. Bukan two lips. Two lips. Dua bibi. The top and the bottom. Like the uh, orchid, it, it, that has only got one lip, the landing pad. Okay, but the flower like snapdragon and also the toad flag, so you got the top lip and the upper lip, kind of like your mouth. Cannot close. Okay, all right, okay, next. Ligulate. Mm. 
Buang apa? Did you do it? Which samples did you draw that look like this? Ligulate. Ligulate means um, uh, tongue. Ligulate, it means tongue. Lingua franca. Lingua. Tongue. Which flower? Banana flower. It looks exactly like this. It's got a small structure and a... Takkan sunflower je. What's in the sunflower? Ray flora. Ray flower. Ray lah. Open the supplement slide. The second. See? Nampak tak? Ligul. Yo. Ray flower. But, okay. So now you know. For each flower, in the sunflower... Two types of shape. This is the shape of. Ah, lupa dah, lupa dah. Untuk ni. Tubula. Tubula. Tubula flower. And then this is ligulate. Okay. Tubula. Polypetalus. The other one. Ligulate. Polypetalus ke? Gamopetalus ke apa? Look at the slide. Game of Petalus. Yeah. It, um, it's fused at the bottom. Okay. Just the top part got the legal bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Go on. Oh, what's this? Tepal. Okay. Petal and sepal fused. Cannot be distinguished. Mm, that's interesting. Kenapa sepal sepal pula? Oh, you want, you want, okay, I remember, I remember something now. You want to, to, yeah, Christian story? Christian story? Anybody not religious Christian? Lah macam kau lah kan, ada yang semayang, ada tak semayang. Christian macam tu juga. Ada yang bangkit, ada yang tak bangkit. Um, look at this name. Special flower. What does special mean? Bukan passion tu kesabaran tu age lain. That's patience. Keinginan, kegairahan, kesungguhan, ke keinginan yang tinggi lah. Okay, you 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 have high desire. Why? This is to reflect the passionate. Um, movement of the if if you learn if you learn um, history why the col col colonizer come to colonize the the three G concept well gold glory gospel Gospel. So for the gospel, this is brought about by the uh, Mormon missionary. Or oh, missionary. Mish, missionary. Kind of like tablet, tapi versi Christian. Kan? Tablet yang ketuk yang kau nak lari yang nak tu. Ha, dia orang pun ada juga. The moment they see the missionary, uh, <laughs> they run away. Kan? <laughs> Nobody want. The story is the same. Nobody was missionary as much as you do not want to see the tablet. <laughs> yes. It's the same story. So, the reason this missionary chose this flower and call it um, passion flower because it, it so described this gospel component. Buktinya adalah um, so the tepal, tepal there, dia ada dua level lah. Dia ada level, the level, the first level, uh, se uh, sepal and then petal, but they combine together. So tepal, ten. And then you got your stigma, ada tiga. 
There's another five. I forgot kat mana. Lepas tu dia ada Corona. Corona. Lepas tu pun sebenarnya dia ada tendrils tau. If you if you look um, bunga buah markisa, pokok markisa, the passion fruit, the plant is crawling, creeping and it has got tendrils. You know tendrils? Uh, yang macam spring itu. So tendril. Sepuluh ni, ten um, faithful, faithful apostle. The apostle, you know apostle? You know Jesus got apostle? Apostle tu macam sepul, apa, sepuluh sahabat yang dijamin syurga. Kind of level there. So Jesus ada apostles. Was it 10 or 12? Kau murtad. Tak ikut. 10 or 12? 12. Kau so, kenapa 10? See the word? The word faithful. Because in some testament, they regard a uh, saint. I forgot the name. Satu Judas. Saint something. Saint something. Um, this is denier This is betrayer So tak, tak faithful lah They are not faithful So they remove the two Apostles Jadi sepuluh The faithful as apostle Stigma tiga Because the concept Mana? God Apa tu? Ha ah. <laughs> Eh apa mana? Apa mana aku lupa dah Ah, Father, betul, betul, betul. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yay. Corona. Corona refers to the, tadi kita tengok the crucif, mana crucifixion? Ni kan? Ni salib kan? So, masa when the Jesus was being crucified, so ada Jesus kat situ. He was wearing a crown, thorny crown. Um, corona tu bahasa Latin, bahasa Inggeris dia crown lah. Makota, makota berduri. Ha, this, this thing, nampak ni? This thing, the name is corona. Corona means crown. So, to, to depict the thorny crown worn by Jesus during crucifixion. Okay? And then, tendril. Tendril ni, okay, some Christian believe it, some don't believe it. It's for the um, fla flagellation of Jesus. Flagellation tu, maksudnya, um, flagellate, you know flagellate? Whip. I do not know what is it, Malay. Sebab, yes, penyebatan uh, Jesus. Yeah. So, macam-macam ni, uh, dapatlah passion flower. Banyak kan cerita dia? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you can imagine, because there is no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no Instagram, no TikTok, the missionary got very creative to turn this flower into the official flower for Christianity. Some, for some reason. Alright? Okay. Right. So, uh, crown yeah, is um, some said it's for to attract pollinators, but actually they are the um, fragrant, fragrant and sweet things coming out from it. The nectar is right. All right. Okay. All right. Masih, masih beriman. <laughs> All right. Next. Yeah. So daffodil, daffodil also got corona, but corona dia poly. Petalus. Uh, so, sorry, for the passive flora, for the uh, passion flower, the corona single like this. One, one, one. But for the daffodil, dia dalam bentuk cup fused. Macam ni. The bell. The corona. Still the corona. Right in the middle. Okay, united or in the case of Nerium, Olander, you dealt with Olander plant, right? You got the flower. The flower is uh, united as well. Fuse to the petal. All right, next. Dari Orlando. Nampak? Tengah ni, 
Corona. It is part of the corolla, tapi appendages, um, lampiran corolla tu. It's already got a corolla, which is the collection of petals. On top of it, it got something more. Okay, for various purpose. Okay, All right. Okay, next. All right. All right. Let la. You see, in botany, you need to know a lot of things. Did you know this story? Tak apa, aku sih murtad macam tu lah. There, there's another, another structure, five. But I forgot. Um, I think the five to refer to the stamens, good. Five is actually referring to the number of nails. Paku kat Jesus tu. Ni kan dia kat sini, dia kena paku sebenarnya. Tap, tap, tap. Lepas tu macam empat, nombor lima kat sini kepala. <laughs> so, the five one, ah, tambah sini satu lagi. Uh, statement, lima. So, kena paku. Dia macam mana? Jesus tu kena paku cerita dia. <laughs> Mesti tak tahu. Macam kenapa lah tak tahu. So, why do, why, why do I know? Um, dia macam ni. Ramai lecturer, go study abroad. Like I think 70, 60% of UPM, so much lecturer study abroad. The difference is, when I, when I went to England to study abroad, I didn't stay with Malaysians. Yes, I stayed with, I stayed in masjid, but the masjid got a multi-faith society. So other religions and beliefs come to the masjid to learn more about Islam. So when they come, you start to know stories. Yeah. So there were Christians, there were Jews. Oh, kalau Jews tak kat sini habis lah kan. Macam mesti kau dah, kau dah tahu tembak dia kan. Uh, so, the, no, no such. Please understand. We have no problem with Jews, Jewish. We have problem with the Zionist. That's a different concept. Okay. So Jews, young, um, we call it uh, Amish people. That's fine. They are very orthodox. They are nice people. Okay, kita do Judaism. So when they come, this is the story uh, because they are tablik versi dia. They 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 share the story. How difficult is it? You know, when you can't go to people's home to spread the message, the truth, and then the door slam to your face. Can they uh, tak dalam macam kau nyok nyuruh eh bagi salam tak ya wak ya wak. Mom machinery mana bagi salah? Dia cakap hello je lah. Hello, everybody home. Uh, 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 tak wajib jawab kan? Uh, yeah. So they they face the same um, faith related issues as well to spread the 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 uh, the divine news to people. Okay, right. If you don't, if you don't want to listen to them, just say nicely. Oh, that, oh, okay, I'm busy now. Um, I, I already talk nicely, jela. Don't, don't, don't slam the door to the face. Okay. Yeah. Some, 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 some of this Mormon, they, they celebrate. You know, celebrate. They practice celibacy. They, they, they don't get uh, married. They don't, they don't. Do, do kind of things uh, uh, because they are under vow or something. Yeah, right. For what reason? I don't know. To 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 get divine uh, what, <laughs> revelation or something. All right. Okay. Floral estivation. In the leaf, in a, in a way you have learned is for the leaf. The leaf, we, you, you learn, remember phyllotaxy? Phyllotaxy. What is this? Tak ingat, tak ingat. Phyllotaxis, the one that, kenapa Adam ni? Remember this? Leaf arrangement, phyllo, daun, taxi, ranking. So for, for flowers, for petals or sepals, 
there is also a system for arrangement as well. We call it estivation. I think that's British uh, uh, spelling code. If other books, maybe it, it, it doesn't have the A, just the ES, estivation. The, the floral arrangement of floral structures, such as sepal or petal, before blooming, before bloom, when it's in the form of floral buds, inside the bud, how the floral structure is arranged. Because the moment it blooms, it can look so many different ways. Right, so before blooming. So we got a few. Um, velvet, twisted, imbricate, vexillary. Um, okay, <coughs> can go on. So velvet. I know it has got all this um, explanation that you can read further. Go on, until number four. I'll just give you how I remember it. Um, you can create your own formula. So the first one is what? Um, velvet. Velvet is not touching. No touchy. The second one is twisted, right? So twisted at least one Sini, 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 sini. Aku tak pandai nak, nak lukis-lukis sangat. One overlap. One underlap. Look at, look at this. So this is a single petal. One side of the petal, it's underlap. One is overlap. And it's true for the whole arrangement. Okay, and then uh, twisted, is it imbricate? Yes. yes. So, imbricate, imbricate, so one, both, lap. Satu je. Okay. Look at this. One, both, lap. Satu, satu lagi. One, both, under, lap. under lap and then you have vexillary ooh vexillary macam aku ingat ya I took this like almost 20 years ago macam mana ya hmm, any idea nah, dia maksud dia nak lupa lah ni kan cakap cakap ke bukan lepas tu cerita Jesus pula <laughs> you know bila aku buat dosa kan aku cepat lupa kan <laughs> I didn't bad mouth Jesus Oh, dia tak percaya Kita Muslim, we need to believe in all prophets, right? We cannot bad mouth even one prophet, right? See? Can I bad mouth Jesus? No What happen if I bad mouth Jesus? Am I Muslim? Ke ke dah, dah terancang ke Musliman aku? <laughs> tak boleh Alright Okay, okay, dah ingat dah, dah ingat dah, dah, ingat dah. Uh, Vexillary Vexillary um, is actually from veteran army army bearing banner tentera veteran memegang panji nih this is the banner kind of like the banner you saw in the RT screen toy yeah so this is the banner, so the veteran army holding it. That's why it's at the top. So the moment you saw this, okay, cannot be any line. It's the vexillary. Veteran, veteran army holding banner. All right? Okay. Ah, tuju. Next. Okay, okay, you can, you can see lah. No, na, velvet. Okay, velvet. No overlapping. No touchy-touchy. No touchy. Okay. Next. Twisted, one overlap, one underlap, okra. Make sure description of this in your thesis. Imbricate, one, both overlap, both underlap. All right. Vexillary, oh, banyak ni. Veteran army. Veteran army hold, holding um, banner or standard. I don't want to. All right. 
Butterfly P. Alright. Okay. <sighs> Ada lagi. Ni kan? Belakang ni? Banner, right? That's why. Uh, nama dia Vexillary. Right. Okay. Next. Brax. So this is Brax. Okay. I, 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 I talked about this before. This is the modified leaf. Okay. Okay. It can be colorful. It can be green color. Okay. Pretty much the function is to either to attract pollinator or to protect the act, the, the flower structure. Like in the case of epicalyx. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Next. Space. What is it, Emily? Seludang. All right. Um, the lily flower, the flamingo lily, anthurium, and so on. So this is all the. It's it's actually a type of bread as well, but there's only one. So, sekeping sahaja kelopak seludang le. So we call it space. Okay. And the flower, the inflorescence in the middle, we call it spadix. Family? Family are safe? Family of what? What is the common plant associated with this family? Baru cerita. Keladi. Taro family. Okay, next. Spade, okay. Uh, bunga pisang. Ni, yang merah-merah ni yang kau nak makan tu. Ya, bukan yang dalam ni. Luar tu. Okay. And the bird of paradise. Um. Actually, bird of paradise the type of heliconia. Maybe maybe you, you didn't see it uh, during, during the class. Okay. Alright. Next. Involucre. Okay, this is important. Involucre is the bracts in the form of whorl come together. Susan, I think not from the side. Can't really see it from the side. You need to look from the down. Okay. Your sunflower, bring it up. Then you can see this involucre. Okay. I think one, one, one group asked me how to see this um, last week. Okay. All right. Next. Bracteo. Somebody also asked, I don't remember which group, what is the membranous structure surrounding your disc floret, the peppery, the brown one. Yeah, the name is Bracteo. This thing here. This is your disc floret. Okay. At the bottom, there is, there is like a sheath covering, peppery covering. That is Bracteo. Okay. Next. Kau dah ada ke ni tadi? Hmm, itulah. Nah, anyway, uh, gloom. Gloom is actually a type of bract as well, but for the for the rice, for grass. But they, they, they don't call it bract, they call it gloom. One, two, always two. Okay. Bawah apa? Atas apa? Down, we call it? Lemma. Atas? Pelea. Pelea or pele. Either one. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, what time now? Ooh. Jadi nak habis je. Masih ada masa. Masih ada masa. Do you, do you want to start or you want to continue? Uh, no. Yelah, apa benda no? <laughs> you, want, you want to continue later? All right. Okay. Uh, who wants to continue? Who wants to stop? Who wants to stop? Tiga je. Okay, who wants to continue? <laughs> Who's on the fence? Three. Three's on the fence. Don't let me decide. My decision, it makes people cry. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go on for a minutes. Let's see. Let's see if we stop. Okay. Um, so, this is the actual... Okay, this is more into the how the fruit will come about later okay uh ni yang cakap tadi ni carpal pistil ni you see carpal pistil purely the female re reproduction part stigma style ovary it doesn't include this thing receptacle and thalamus which is the base or the platform for the flower is this functioning in the production 
no. So it's not functioning. So that's why in couple, this is excluded. But when you use the word genus here, it is inclusive everything, comprehensively. Receptacle is included. All right? Okay, go on. You should know this already, right? I've, I've explained it so many times. Stigma, style, ovary, ovule. Although if you want to, if you read, I don't know, maybe some of you read uh, Buku Bahasa Melayu. Mm, that style, nama dia bukan style. No, nama dia Benang Sari. Yes, Benang Sari is the Malay for style. Even pollen, you call it the bunga, right? There is an old name for it. Tepung Sari. Tepung Sari is synonym to pollen, synonym to the bunga. I think they kind of got it from Indon code. Kamus Nusantara, that kind of thing. Yeah. If you, meaning that, if you found this word, janganlah nak gabra sangat. It's style, flower sun. Okay? Right, next. <sighs> Stigma variation. You know, I'm talking about this Benasari uh, and everything. My lecturer 20 years ago must be very proud of me. That, by the way. Because when, when she was teaching, nobody paid attention. Macam korang lah boring bila nak habis, bila nak habis kan. You know, my friend lagi lah. <laughs> Akulah duk dengar benda, benda, benda. <laughs> Okay, a uh, st uh, stigma variation, okay? It can come in simple, like this. This stigma, okay? Ni bukan stigma. What are this? This is enter, collectively. Stamen. Enter. Filament. Come together. Stamen. Right in the middle here, your... Style. Stigma. Stigma is, is, is uh, moist. Okay, because it needs to be sticky so that the pollen can land and stick to it. All right, okay, next. So sometimes the stigma can be multiple, like in the, in the case of um, cactus. One column and then it splits into a number of um, stigma. Okay, what fruit is this? Mangus. Mangus, okay. Garcinia mangostana. All right, okay, next. Oh, bunga ni lagi. Ah, yeah. Yang ni. Huh, the, the, the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. Ha. Bilangan paku in Jesus kena. <laughs> Betul lah, I missed it. I missed it. Okay. The the, the three, the the the, the three, ho, apa? Holy Daddy? <laughs> Holy Daddy. <laughs> Holy Daddy. Um... Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh my God, I call it Holy Daddy. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, uh, go to the supplement um, uh, slide. So I give, I've given you this thing, okay? So this is to help you with the identification of the parts, okay? You've got the corona, stamen, style, S, sepal, P is petal, ah, to tendril. For the... For what purpose? Flagellation of Jesus. Bahasa Melayu, forget again. Weeping. Ah, penyebatan Jesus. Sebat, sebat, sebat. Salib crucifixion. Okay, uh, slide back. Okay, next. Next. Close up. Uh, uh, no worry about it. Okay, next. Ha, ni penting. The, or the, the position of the ovary. So the ovary can be superior, the ovary can be inferior. No hypenthium. Hypogenous flower. Hypenthium is actually the cup I, I, I talked about right at the beginning. The floral cup. These two structure got this floral cup. When there is no floral cup present and all the structure the um, petal, the sepal, the stamen, and also the ovary on one level, we call it fl hypogenous flower, ovary superior. 
Okay. But the moment you have this hypothalamus, okay, we call it perigenous flower. Why perigenous? Peri means like a perimeter, surrounding. Look at the structure. It is surrounding the ovary. However, ovary is still superior. This is the beginning of all structure, right? Whatever it is, ovary is still on top of it. Even though at the end, some structure might be slightly higher than it. Okay. Then finally, is the epigenous. Okay. Hypentheum present. So ovary is at um, hypo. It means power below it. Okay. And other structure on top of it. Okay. Next. <coughs> Yeah, so this is a hypogeny. When you say hypo, epi, peri, it's actually referring to other parts than the ovary. Okay? Other parts, petal, sepal, semua lah. Right? So superior ovary, ovary on top, other parts, semua dekat bawah. Okay? Next. And then you have the perigeny. So you have your ovary. But it starts to have hypentium. Just now, no hypentium because everything one level. When it starts to have hypentium, which is the floral cup, remember, okay, hypentium, the floral cup, the base here, what is it? Receptacle or thalamus, right? Okay. So ovary, still superior because ovary on top of it. Of the, at the beginning, at the source. And finally, next, epigeny, ovary below. You, you can see that the ovary actually is being eaten by other structure base. Okay? All structure has its base. The moment other structure bases start to engulf the ovary, we call it the epigeny. Can you quickly tell me what kind of fruit has this kind of arrangement? Apple. Right. Does it, does it look apple? Yes. Yeah. You go. Actually, apple, apple, apple is a weird fruit, actually. You have apple. Um. I should, I should uh, talk about this uh, later, but it's Apple, right? Kat bawah tu kan macam ada benda-benda sikit kat bawah apple tu. So, this is floral remnants. Guess what? This is the... So, tangkai apple yang korang nak pegang tu. Itu tadi sel asalnya. Therefore, apple actually... It's not really a fruit, fruit. It's a fake fruit because the part that you bite and eat is actually swollen hypentium. You didn't eat ovary. The flesh though. So the ovary of apple, right? The core, biji tu. Tengah tu itu, dia kecil ya ovary dia. But the rest of it, the one that you eat, the one that you turn into juice, that is hypentium. Swollen hypentium. All right. Okay, next. Androsium. Okay. Uh, apa A? Ah, uh, ni exam lah. A. What is it? Yang tadi tu. Enter. B? Filament. Come together? Stamen. Stamen. Right. Next. Uh, electron microscope. Uh, micrographs. Okay. So big. Uh, next. This is the cross section. This, this, I think you will see this uh, in the few weeks under microscope because you will, you, you will deal with slides. Okay. So enter, when you cross it, you will see the pollen sacs. Kantong de bunga. Alright, okay, next. Oh, payah lah ni. So connective is the, um, you know you know what? Uh, how many? Connective, locule, pollen grain, pollen sac, tika. I have given you the uh, supplementary slide. Open supplementary slide. To know exactly kat mana. You need time to absorb this. Okay. 
So this is the filament. This enter actually got sections when you look from the top. Sections, okay? So one section here is called the pollen sac. Okay, this is where the pollen divide because the, the genetic material is half only from, from the male, from the father. Kind of like a sperm making here. Okay, and then you have your thika. Thika actually means enclosing, sarong. Sarong of what? Ni? Kuning kuning ni? Thika lah tu. Right? <coughs> so, right in the middle, you got your um, archisporium. Right? Okay, uh, next. No, 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 no. Next, next slide. Start here. Yeah. So, you got the thika here. Okay, and then your microsporangia. From the outside, how does it look like? Just now, the cross-section of it. Okay, so when you cross it, this is how it's going to look like. Ada empat lah, ada empat bulge. Right, and then the anther locules. Locules is right in the middle here. You cannot see locules because <laughs> you need to cross it. Then you see the locules, right? Okay, uh, slide. Next. Okay, this is how the uh, enter attachment. Basific, dorsified, okay. Ni kan sebenarnya kena hafal je, senang je. Basifics is at the base. Dorsal, dorsific means dorsal. Dorsal means belakang. Back. Okay, next. Okay, I got it. Basifics right here at the base. Dors, dorsifics right at the back. Kat belakang. Transverse kind of like the middle section of it. Okay. And then you got valvula. Hmm, valvula ni. Actually it, it gets near from the heart. The heart valve tu. Um, the the attachment of it is actually right under this split. Right at the bottom. Right? Okay. Um, you'll see in a bit. Okay, next. Anther dehiscent. Ooh, did you think any? Dehiscence. Uh, dehiscence means splitting open. Apa bahasa Melayu dia? Pemecahan. 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 Pecah lah. Splitting open. Pemecahan pem pem terbuka. Pembuka. Pe <laughs> ah, pemecah, ah, pemecahan lah. Boleh lah. Boleh lah. Pemecahan. Alright. Pemecahan. So, the essence is how the structure split open. Sometimes, there's only one side that split open. Sometimes, many opening can happen on the one structure. Think of it like the Pelia lemma just now. That's only split open on one plane. Okay. But if you take um, okra, bendy, you can actually split open from different angles. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So, extras, intros, uh, go on. Okay. All right. Um, open as supplement slide. Let's finish this. Uh, no, 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 next. Uh, ne uh, okay. This. So, extras means the, the opening of the enter will happen from this side, the exit side of it. So, when this open, the pollen will go away from the flower because the, the black bit is the one that is splitting open the the, the, the highest part for the laterals this is the lateral it is this side okay the front side of it and then you got the intros this is the inner side so when it is split open the pollen will directly land on the stigma okay and then the terminal or the poricidal i think in the slide just on the top, 
like the your bottle, open the cap at the top. Just that, for a All right, uh, second slide here. No, 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 second slide, just now. Okay. How how it splits open? How does it dehise? The dehiscence of enter, the splitting open of the enter. Why the enter needs to split open? To release pollen. Otherwise, pollen duduk dalam tu je. Intros. Laterals. By the side here. Okay. So, the, the, the extras here. Transverse. Right in the middle. Porous or porousidal in the in, in your UPM slide. Right at the top. This is like a bottle. Your bottle cap open. And the valvula. This is valvula. It's kind of have like um, the... The... Uh, what's the word? I'm thinking of Malay word. The sela. Right. I, I remember this because when I, 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 I learned about this, there was a story that I told about Marilyn Monroe at Madame Tussauds. You know Madame Tussauds, the wax museum? So Marilyn, you know Marilyn Monroe? Oh. Mm. What's the iconic about her? She likes, there, there is a popular figure of her holding down the skirt because the wind come uh, and then blow the skirt. So the action of the skirt going up, the sink up though, are kind of like bubble here. But in the case of Marilyn, no spores coming out lah. No pollen coming out. <laughs> she, 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 she held it down, the skirt. Okay. Mesti macam blur, tak tahu. Search um, Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, ah, ni. Yes. This. Tak payah dah besar sangat kan? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the, the valvula, one one side of the enter, it's it's open macam tu. Okay, macam skirt dia naik tu. Ah dah tutup balik, tutup balik, tutup balik. <laughs> eh, slide, 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 slide. Alright, okay, next. Ah dah, dah, dah cerita dah, cukup. <laughs> ah, you got it, you got it better in the, in the slide. Okay, and finally is the statement fusion. Okay. Um... This is to tell you the story about the statement for your Arachis spin toy. Just now, this one. 8 plus 1, 9 plus 1. Mona del first. Statement united in one group by the filaments. Okay, go next. I think got the flower. And the diadel first. You see? Two bundles of statement. This bundle can be 8 or 9. And then there's one. But they're still fixed, attached at the bottom together. Okay. Uh, go on. Next. Oh, tak ada. Um, go back. Supplementary slide. Ah, ni. Mono Adolphus. Di Adolphus, which is number two. How the statements um, bercantum dengan dasar bunga. Okay. <coughs> Didonymous, tetradonymous, polyadolphus and syngenesious. Okay. So, ada banyak lah. Cara, cara dia um, attach to to the floral based. Alright? Okay, uh, dah 10 minit? Dah, dah 10 minit lagi? 10 minit lagi? Kena habis kan? Ha? Dah pukul 2 ke? Oh, jangan kelambat ke? Okay, so what happened? <laughs> alright, 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 okay. Okay, sebenarnya I, I think that's um, tak apa. So we'll continue. Um, <sighs> okay, 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 all right, okay, we'll, we'll continue this, okay. So, on Thursday, what's going to happen? Test. Kan, test. Mari bersenam. Macam mana? Lagi je lah. On Thursday, I think we should go outdoor a bit, right? Yes. Go to Bukit Expo. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Go to Bukit Expo, bring umbrella, bring water, bring cookies, bring whatever you want bring. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, selamat bersenam.
<laughs> so surprise, surprise. Don't worry, open Chrome. Open Chrome. Open Chrome. You you can ask grandma, you can ask the dean even. Call her. Call him. Okay. So um come. Please be on time because we don't want to start late. Please be on time. Then just follow instruction. And then hopefully you got to answer them all. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Two thirty, okay. Okay, since since you know this is going to be outdoor, I don't I don't ask you not to be polite, but don't find trouble wearing baju kurung. Kan kawan kau nak jadi Marilyn Monroe kat situ? Macam mana? Kan? Please don't become Marilyn Monroe at Bukit Expo on Thursday. Nobody want to see that. Like really, yeah. Marilyn is keep blowing up. People taking pictures, then it turns out news. You keep blowing up. Mm. <laughs> so let's not that to happen. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. Any question? Quickly. All good. All good. Okay. Okay. All right. See you. See you.